Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. I hope you guys are having a great day today. In this episode, we are going to finally build the Guardian Farm. Yes, we're going to build a Guardian Farm, Mr. Wandering Trader. You might want to get your llamas out of here. I've been wanting to do this project for a while, and I actually have the time to actually devote to it this week, so we're going to take that on. The first thing that needs to happen, though, is this whole temple needs to come down. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. I was all excited because I was going to do this teardown on a live stream, and I was excited to be able to stream Minecraft for the first time. I got everything all set up, and I found out that to live stream for the first time on YouTube, you have to wait 24 hours for it to be activated. And... I can't stream tomorrow, so that's not going to happen. So I'm a little disappointed with that and very annoyed at YouTube. But I seem to always be annoyed at YouTube lately. So I'm going to get the world's ugliest beacon set up down here and tear this thing down to the ground. I'll see you guys when that's done. Dun -da -da -dun -dun -da! It's gone. And I have six shulker boxes full of resources from this project. So this is all cleared out. Hopefully well enough lit up that nothing is going to spawn down here. And it's time to start building the, uh, the farm. So I need to learn how to do that and practice building it in creative or at least figure out all the resources that I need. So that's the next step. See you guys in a little bit. After gathering a ton of resources, I am ready to get started. So here is everything that we need for this farm. It was a ton of resources, but fortunately I had most of them. The only thing I had to go out and gather was all of the soul sand. I am using Cubfan135's design for this farm, and I really wish that I had watched the tutorial before I did all of this, because I technically didn't have to do this. But that's okay, I kind of like that we have this whole area cleared out, and of course we got all the resources from it. So that is good. So what I want to start with is I'm going to need some glass and a whole bunch of dirt. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. And then we will get started. So I actually, this farm is actually built up here at this level. So what I need to do is I need to come down here and find the center. And let's see, do I still have that block? I do. Okay, so let's put that back in there. So from here I need to go, I counted this out because I've been working on this in creative, um, but I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And let's just do this. So we're going to make a... There we go. And that. So that is our center. And then let's just go ahead and build this up. I don't know how high I need to go. Uh, let's see if that's tall enough. Let's climb up here. It looks like I'm a little high. I don't know what the sea level is. That looks close. It also looks like it's about to be nighttime, so let's go ahead and fly over here and sleep real quick. Get out of that boat. There we go. What level are we on? 63. Sleepy, sleepy. What are the odds I can hit that tower? <laughs> oh, look at that. Pro Minecrafter right there. Not really. Okay, let's see here. 62. Is that right? Yeah, 62. So just need to... Ah! Amateur Minecrafter right there. <laughs> the trouble is you can't shift. Let's do this, and then I can shift. And then I can come over here and click the side of that. And fall again. Alright, so this is the level we need to be at. And then I want to make a... This was my corner, right? Yep. I can take that off now. So let's make a 4x4 four four square just to mark off our center. Okay. And then we are making a 36x32 or 32x36, whichever you prefer, 
um, rectangle up here as the as kind of the base of our farm. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in this direction, and then we are going to put a two high glass wall there. We will repeat that on the other side over there, and then off to this side, we're going to do 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then we will put the glass wall here. Maybe, if I can break the glass. There we go. So the next step is to fill this entire rectangle in on all four sides with a dirt platform and then surround it with a glass wall. So I'm going to get that done. I will bring you guys back when it's finished. So our platform and the wall is in place. The next thing that I need to do is actually to come along here and take our center, which is right here. We're actually going to take this out. Maybe. There we go. And then we need to start placing our fence gates, which I have none on me at the moment. Let's see where they are. Of course, they're in the last one I check. All right, so let's grab several stacks of those. And I also, okay, I have my water buckets. That's the next thing we're going to need. So then we're going to place down four here, and then we're going to do it back eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we go through and open all of these. And then we repeat the process all along here. I think I need one more. Yep, there we go. And there is that done. So this is going to be the stream that funnels all of our guardians out and to a place where we can dispose of them. The next thing that I need to do is I need to fill the rest of this platform with water sources, which is going to be quite the process. This is going to take a little while, but shouldn't be too bad once I get going. So we should be able to just do every other like that. There we go. Okay, so that has it started. I need to go all the way around. I'll bring you guys back when that is finished. All right, so that actually went pretty fast. So now we have some more layers that we need to do. So the next thing that we need to do is do another set of eight fence gates along here. Seven and eight, and then we're gonna bring them back. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is much faster in creative, but that's all right. And then let me do this real quick because this might be easier without the water in place. If we do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna do another layer on top of it here. Maybe, maybe not. There we go, that's what we need. And I was thinking that this might be a little bit easier because we have to fill in water sources underneath this layer, but it might be easier to put the fence gates in place first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that will be a lot easier than rather than having two, um, two full blocks of water here, because then I'm going to be underwater and swimming. So I have to get all of this filled in here. I have to get all of this filled in and open here. And then we need to repeat the process on this side. And then we're going to fill in the water layer under this. So let me get to work on that. I will bring you guys back when a little bit of progress has been made.
Our first layer is done. I have got all the fence gates in place and opened on both sides and the water sources underneath. And now basically what we need to do is just build the next layer of the farm. I don't need any more water, but we're going to do this along here. And then we can take these dirt blocks out, open all of those up, and then we can build from there. And if we were to stick our water bucket in here, one, two, I need a couple more sources, three, and four. What that gives us is a water stream. And let's just go ahead and do that so that I don't accidentally get knocked off the edge as I'm working on this. But this will, when the guardians flow up here, they will hit this water stream and make their way down here. So I have a ton more fence posts to place and a lot more water sources. I have a lot of work to do, so it will probably be a little bit of time on my end before the next clip. In your time, it'll be the half second it takes to transition. So I'll see you guys when this is done. Welcome back everyone, and here is a lot of fence gates. So I have got everything built up through here, and we are ready to start the streams that will actually funnel the guardians down through all of this. So, let me grab my water buckets here, and we'll do a little of this to... Oh look, I have fish spawning. Thank goodness I don't have Guardian spawning. I don't feel like fending them off right now. Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to come in here. And the trick is going to be getting the hitbox. Easier said than done. Um, And if I click that, it's just going to close it. Uh, yeah, this is much easier in creative mode. Let's see. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's go ahead and close all of these fence gates. That was probably not the one to have done, but it's fine. So then we can do that. There we go. And then if I do this here, can I pick that up? No. Okay, which is fine, because I have plenty of water source blocks in here. Let's see, okay, there we go. Open that back up, and I need to get on these closed gates. There we go. Uh, there we go. That. That, which missed. And I think if I just go off of here, I could probably come down and snag source blocks from the bottom. And then we get back up on our gate. There we go. And there. And there. I probably can't reach that. I think I might want to get a couple more buckets to do the... Ah, uh, yeah, because then I miss. And that's not so good. Get up here. All right, and there we go. So that should all flow down and be good to go. All right, excellent. So grab that, and then I need to get on top of this wall. I need to remember to go back and close those. So then we're going to do the same thing up here. We will go ahead and do all of those and get those water streams set up. Now, the problem with this is that when we go to do the next level over here, and I'm just going to close that off, is, if I can get up here, maybe, come on, come on, there we go. Okay, so if I were to put a bucket of water down here, it's going to flow off into there and mess that up, so we actually need to put another layer of um, fence gates up here. So, I think what we'll do is see if we can stick a... Um, let's see. Well, I guess I can maybe put one on the side there. There we go. And then we can do one. And I'll probably just go and close. Can I walk across these? Oh, I can. Oh, there we go. That will make that process much easier. Okay, two, three, four, five... 
I can't get off of them now. Six, seven, and then if we take the dirt out and jump up here. Wait. Oh. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I missed one here. That's the problem. There we go. Okay. So then this will prevent water from... And you can fall down between them. Excellent. All right. Anyway, that will prevent water from flowing down into this stream and messing it up. So, obviously, I have a lot more work to do. I am going to get to that. And I will see you guys when that is done. In the meantime, though, I'm recording this on Christmas Day, and one of the fun little Easter eggs in Minecraft is that they change all of the chests to look like presents. One of the things that's annoying is single chests and ender chests look exactly the same. So if you're looking for your ender chest, it's a little hard to find. However, I was over in the base earlier, and... Um, Wow, is the storage grotto ugly. So while I get to work on the on the water streams and the last fence gates, I'll let you guys have a little look inside the storage grotto filled with Christmas presents. Enjoy! Welcome back once again. Everything up top is done. Got all the water streams set, and we are all good to go. So the next thing that we need to build is the uh, tube that will funnel all of the guardians over to where we will be able to kill them. So we're going to take this dirt out of here, and then we want to build this at this level. So we'll take this dirt out, and we'll do one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do this eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we need to drop it down a level. So let's see, I believe that is at this height, so we need one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I want to actually pull this 24, so we're going to do one more level there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I hear the drowns sneaking up behind me. Nice try, pal. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. All right, so we need to extend this tube all the way along here. I'll go ahead and take this dirt out. And then we need to do all of this. Let me do that real quick. Okay, now that that has been done, I'm going to need to build walls along here so that we can keep them from falling out so we'll do that right there I don't think I can get underneath that to place it that's fine we'll do that and I'll get this built up on both sides Okay, now I think this wall will probably need to be a little bit taller, but this will be fine for right now. Then we want to make a drop chute for them to fall into, and we're going to do that as a 2x4. I do not have enough glass for this whole project, so that's going to be a bit of an issue, but we'll get it worked out. So that is what we have. I need to get the water out of there. So let me go grab some sponges. Where er, I don't know where my stuff is. It's over here. There we go. I'm not going to be able to get in there, am I? Nope. Okay, we'll just put one there and there. And we'll go ahead and dry all of this up. There we go. 
All right, and then I have to get that chamber taken care of and built all the way down to our killing area. So that's going to take a little bit to get done. Um, and then we need water streams along there. And I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of all of my buckets yet, but essentially what we're going to do is we'll come right here and we will put water along there so that it all flows down and continues to move our guardians along. Oh, and I have a lot more glass than I thought I did. And then I want to do this on here. Can I reach that? Oh, just barely. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to get this all finished up here and get the chamber built down to where we're going to kill the guardians. And I will see you when that chamber is ready. Making progress here, if my game would stop lagging. Come on, there we go. All right, so this is the chamber that we need to work our way down. And uh, yay, lag. How come I didn't take any damage from that fall? That seems peculiar. Okay, well, let's fly out of here. There we go. Oh, that one I took some damage from. Eeg. Okay. Firmly pushing shift. There we go. So, what we want to do is douse these guardians in lava. And we're going to do three layers of lava. And it's going to start one layer down. So, one, two, three. Maybe if I go here. One, two, three. And then this layer that I'm standing on will need signs. So let's go ahead and get those signs put in place. This layer, right? Right, right there. All right, let's see if we can actually... Well, if the game would not lag, I could land in the water. There we go. All right. Let's see here. So then... How do I want to do this? Let's do... Let's stick a dirt block right there. And let's take that and that out, and then my sign goes right there. Okay, now, the part that terrifies me, we have to fill in all the lava. So let's go ahead and take that out. So let's start, we're gonna do one, two, Uh, three, and then four, and I have no way out of here <laughs> if I screw this up. So let's hope that I don't screw this up. I feel like I need more lava buckets down there, so let's put a couple more there and there yeah i don't i don't think it needs to be sources i think flowing lava is okay let's hope that's the case all right so next layer one two three four five Six, and then I need to go grab just a few more here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I certainly have enough if I wanted to do this. Let's go ahead and shift really, really hard as we get to the edge there. There we go. Okay, and last layer. One, two, three, four, Five and six, and because I am me, I'm going to put some dirt blocks along there so that I don't accidentally flow down into the lava. Okay, so that is all done. And it occurs to me that I did not build an entrance into my chamber all the way down at the bottom. 
Oh well. I need to go get some more resources because I do not have any hoppers or any more wood to make chests and the things that we will need to actually collect all of the items from the guardians as we kill them. So let me go and get all of that and I'll meet you back down in that chamber. Welcome back. I have gotten all the resources that I will hopefully need. That's kind of scary. And we should be be good to go. So this is the chamber where we're going to be killing the Elder Guardians, and so we just need to put these hoppers in here, like that, and like that. Actually, I don't think that's where I want that one to go. I think I want that one to go in there. Okay. And if I throw an item in there, and I throw an item over there, we should have no and yes. Okay, now well, that works. I'm not too fussed about where they end up, as long as they end up somewhere. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to trap off that area there so they can't get out. And I need one more... Iron trap door somewhere in here. There we go. Okay, and so we're going to put these there and there, and then I need a couple of levers. And we should be able to put one there and there. And then if I throw an item in that hopper, it should still end up in here. Excellent. Go ahead and light this up, because when I came back down here after being away, uh, yeah, stuff had spawned. That's not what you want. All right, and then I think we just need water and water. And I think I'm going to go... I'm, I'm really out of cobblestone? Did I, Oh, I checked it in there. <laughs> Let's go there and there so they can't get out. Hmm, not the best entry point. Oh well, it'll be fine. So I think we are all good to go there. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave these down here for now in case I need more. We will expand the storage later, but for right now I'm trying to get all of this set up. So... If we go back up to the surface here, we will find that it is nighttime and it is time to sleep. So I believe that the next thing I need to do is fill in the water under the, um, under whatever this thing is here so that um, we can actually get the guardians to spawn. And I went and smelted up two shulker boxes worth of glass so that I can actually fill this whole area in. So, I think that is what I need to do next. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit. I apologize for all the jump cuts in this episode. I know there have been a lot. <laughs> Welcome back. The water is in place. The Guardians are flowing, and we are just about done. I will say, though, that trying to get all the water in here just about broke me. Um, this entire box here in the middle had to be filled with water source blocks, and there was no real good way to do that, and it took me quite a while to come up with a system to actually be able to get that done. I'm actually going to show you a little clip of what that looked like while I grab the last resource that I need for this project. So as you can see, I had to build up scaffolding in here, and it was quite the process. And what I ended up doing was just kind of going around the edge on here and filling in all of the all of the water sources at the edge. Now the nice thing about doing it along the edge was it um, it they all fill in once you get two sides done. You, the water sources will all fill in. The, the challenge was that in order to do this, you had to be in there. I already had placed the soul sand, which in retrospect was a mistake. 
But then I had the Guardian spawning as well, so, you know, they were attacking me. So I ended up having to do invisibility potions to be able to do that, and I finally came up with the idea of this scaffolding so that I could go right around the edge, I could do three layers of water at a time, and that ended up taking care of everything that I needed, so we were able to get that done. So here we are back on top, and the last little thing that needs to be done is we just need to put a roof on this. Apparently the, uh, the Guardians spawn at a higher rate when there is no sky access, so we're just going to go ahead and cover this whole um, farm with slabs, and we're going to do half slabs so we don't have to light up the top and worry about anything spawning. I'm very curious to see if the Guardians are going to start targeting me as my invisibility potion runs out, so we shall find out. Yep. They are targeting me. This could be a process. All right, well, the grind continues. Well, guys, after I don't want to think about how many hours has gone into this project, we are done. We have a fully constructed, fully functional, fully lethal guardian farm. Yeah, I discovered that I missed one of the water streams on the inside. And so I went to try to fix it. Unfortunately, I didn't leave my way out, myself a way out, and I died. And all of my items cascaded down into this lava. Yay, fun times. I need to build an enchanting setup at the Ender Ender so that I can actually enchant things. Anyway, that's for another time. So here is the Guardian Farm. These guys definitely pack a little bit of a punch with the thorns that they have on them. But, as you can see, extremely efficient. All the levels that I have are from this farm, and getting tons of drops from these guardians. So, yes, as, as long as this project has taken, and as frustrating as it has been at times, it has totally been worth it, and I am so glad that we have this done, and we now have essentially an unlimited source of prismarine. I do need to figure out some kind of a setup to automatically kill the guardians so that I can just AFK to get all the drops that I want, since I don't always necessarily need the levels from it. It's nice, but I don't want to have to um, be constantly killing the guardians um, just to get all of their drops. So I'll work on that off camera. I will get the rest of this area cleaned up and we'll call that project good. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media. All those links are available in the description. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.